welcome uh, back to the channel. Today, as uh, promised, we're checking out some of these stubby antennas you can get from uh, the usual Chinese marketplaces like uh, AliExpress and uh, eBay. Uh, I think we all know they're going to be pretty terrible. Uh, the question is, how terrible are they in fact? So I've gotten a new uh, nice place to operate from. I'm about maybe 800 meters. I'll do a screen overlay with the height plot and, uh, and everything so you can see the distance and also the elevation I have compared to, uh, to my uh, antenna at home. The rig at home is uh, running the ICR8600 and uh, I'm recording that on, uh, on the screen on my computer. I'm connected with the uh, SDR console application. So I can, uh, I can be here and I can record the uh, sound levels and the other qualities and the meters uh, at my home at the same time. So, without uh, too much more chatting, we'll uh, get into it and uh, test some antennas. We'll start with the stock antenna of the, uh, let's see if we can see this, yeah, it should be easy enough with these small ones. With the stock antenna from the um, FTD5. Trying a new radio today. I've uh, done a minor modification to put in a, um, a um, BNC connector on, the, on that antenna and also a converter for BNC on the radio to be able to attach all the other antennas. So, first test is the stock antenna of the FT5D. Uh, How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? This is Lima Bravo 5, Juliet Juliet, testing the stock antenna of the FT5D. Next up is this, uh, yeah, it's a rubber, rubber ducky type uh, thing. I don't think this could be uh, classified as a fake because there's uh, there's absolutely no known brand attached to it but uh, yeah the claims of uh, gain are pretty amazing so uh, well uh, we'll uh, we'll see how it works i think they claim a 2.15 uh, dbi gain uh, which uh, is is uh, guaranteed to be a lie but let's uh, let's find out let's compare it to the stock antenna this is lima bravo 5 juliet juliet testing the black rubber duck antenna a really short stubby how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood this is lima bravo 5 juliet juliet testing next up is uh, obviously a fake let's uh, let's uh, read what it says it's the, it says diamond srh 805S, it says. Um, uh, you probably you can see it, and also there's going to be some uh, pictures, at least in the thumbnail. Uh, I paid maybe two dollars from uh, from AliExpress for this, so it would really surprise me if this was a genuine uh, diamond antenna. We'll see how badly it performs, and I will consider actually buying a genuine one to compare uh, if uh, if there's anything interesting to be learned from that. But uh, I don't know yet. Let's see how this uh, works out. This is Lima Bravo 5, Juliet Juliet, testing the SRH805S stubby antenna. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? This is Lima Bravo 5, Juliet Juliet, testing. And just to be on the safe side, and because there's such an abundance of fake antennas on AliExpress, I'm also testing the same... Uh, fake antenna this time with a golden uh, bnc connector instead of a black one i don't think that's going to make much of a difference but that's it's nice to test uh, test several uh, there could be variations in uh, in production quality also the fake ones so who knows maybe some of them work uh, better than others let's uh, try it out this is lima bravo 5 juliet juliet testing the srh 805s fake antenna from aliexpress how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? This is Lima Bravo 5, Juliet, Juliet, testing. And I think that about wraps it up for today's uh, test. I will uh, go on home and uh, have a look at the uh, recording from the, uh, the ICOM ICR8600, I think uh, that receiver is called. And uh, we'll do some comparisons as we've done uh, for the previous uh, weeks. We'll uh, see if uh, any of these stubby small antennas are actually worth uh, owning at all or if they're just uh, crap. And as I said, I may also consider getting a genuine one of these uh, SRH805S antennas because uh, clearly the ones I have, they are not uh, genuine at the price that I paid. So I will uh, meet you back at the bench in a few moments and uh, we'll go through the... Uh, the results and uh, figure out whether or not any of these antennas are worth uh, hanging on to. 
Welcome uh, back to the shop. Let's uh, quickly go through the results of these uh, four tests. First off is the FT5 Delta stock antenna. With that one, I measured a received signal strength of uh, minus 30.6 dBm, and we'll use that as a reference for the rest of the antennas. Next up is the no brand uh, rubber ducky antenna. And uh, with that thing on, I measured a received signal strength of minus 50.6 dBm. So that's uh, pretty much exactly 20 dBs down from the stock antenna. And uh, converting that to power levels, that would be like putting 50 milliwatts into the stock antenna. So a pretty significant uh, difference uh, there. Continuing on to the uh, diamond in uh, quotation marks, SRH. 805S, this is the black one, the first one we tested, that uh, gave me a received signal strength of minus 55.8 uh, dBm. That's a good 25.2 uh, dBs down from the stock antenna. And uh, once again, converting that to power, that would be like putting 15 milliwatts into the stock antenna. So it's getting from uh, bad to worse uh, with, uh, with these uh, stubby antennas. And uh, talking about worse when it comes to the golden uh, diamond, uh, once again, in quote, diamond, SRH805S. We are measuring a sig received signal strength of minus 72.7 dBm. That's uh, actually 42.1 dBs down from the uh, stock antenna, which is actually quite terrible. If we convert that to uh, power levels, it's like putting 300 microwatts into the stock antenna. So, um, yeah, pretty much useless. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, just attaching a dummy load would do uh, almost as good a job as uh, radiating as uh, that antennas. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll try that for comparison one day. I don't know. Um, so far, I think uh, the conclusion is that uh, these uh, tiny stubby antennas, they're really no good for anything but uh, very close, uh, close proximity communication. If you're in the same room, if you want to communicate with a, uh, an access point or uh, basically someone in the same building, maybe even on the same floor, they're probably going to work. But for any sort of distance uh, communication, that uh, they're no, absolutely no good. These are, of course, not name brand antennas. I would expect that a genuine diamond antenna would do better, but I wouldn't expect a, uh, a genuine diamond antenna to do good in uh, these uh, situations anyway. So uh, if you think otherwise, then please uh, leave a comment. Tell me your stories of uh, using stubby antennas uh, successfully if, uh, if you have some. Uh, if uh, you like this uh, video, then uh, please uh, consider uh, giving me a thumbs up. If you like this sort of content, then uh, please uh, consider subscribing. I have uh, actually quite a few more antennas that I would like to test in uh, this uh, fashion to, uh, to see what works, what doesn't work, and what works somewhat. So if you want to see that, then uh, consider subscribing. Uh, other than that, if you, if you saw something or heard something in this video that you disagree with, please feel free to leave a comment below. I'm learning quite a bit from that, and uh, I'd love to, uh, to, to hear from you. Other than that, I think I'll just say until uh, next time, thank you so much for watching.